Members of the Rotown Anti-Crime Group received a special gift on Thursday afternoon. The Royal Virgin Islands Police Force and Rotary presented a closed-circuit television camera to the group to help in the group's bid to detect and prevent crime in the territory's capital. Walter Barrett has this report on Thursday's presentation ceremony. In keeping with their ongoing efforts to combat crime in the territory, particularly in the Rotan area and its immediate environs, the Rotan Anti-Crime Group was presented with a closed-circuit television camera. President of the Rotary Club of Tortola, Brian Liverpool, spoke of a time when the BVI was much safer and robberies and theft were not as rampant as they are today. Liverpool said, with the increase in crime, it is essential to use whatever technology can be utilized to combat the growing problem. 1990, January 1990, I moved to the BVI, took an appointment with the government, and um, I was alone by, my, by myself at the time. And I recall um, pondering a couple of weeks after the fight for, um, for uh, utilities, telephone and cable, and one of my co-workers said, listen, don't, don't worry, let's leave the house open and the guys will come and do the installation. And that really blew me away because where I came from, that was certainly a no-no. So today, is, it is with some amount of ambivalence that I stand here. Uh, please, that, very, very pleased that the Woody Club of Tortola is handing over its piece of equipment. But on the other hand, the reason for us doing that you know, brings an element of sadness in that we have gone to the point where we have to be doing this. We are no longer that nice, cozy, safe environment that we bragged about. Receiving the CCTV camera on behalf of the Rotown Anti-Crime Group was Eugenia O'Neill, who said that the communities have become places where wrongdoers are supported, and she said this is a practice that must be stopped. One of our challenges is that, and some of the other speakers have mentioned it, that we have become a community now where we are very quick to defend wrong and to defend wrongdoing. And we're very slow to support or stand up for the rights uh, or, or for right doing. And we, we need to change that. We need to check ourselves and, and think about how our defense of wrongdoing and of wrongdoers is undermining the pillars of this community. Uh, the DC piece spoke about the little wrongs, which to my mind aren't all that little, but things that we do, the, the, the um, throwing of litter on the street, the uh, going the wrong way down a one-way road, um, playing loud music so that we're disturbing our neighbors, etc. My little wrongs and your little wrongs and the little wrongs of family and friends which we allow to continue and which we don't say anything about, they're contributing to a society where now we consider wrong to actually be right. And we, we need to check ourselves again and, and, and we need to start talking the truth to each other and to ourselves. Deputy Police Commissioner David Morris said a joint approach is needed to combat crime and he said that with the majority of crimes being committed by young people, how we engage these young people and prevent them from committing these crimes is very important. Last, last year, we reduced crime by 42, uh, 42 crimes. That's 42 less victims in comparison to 2010. We had a detection rate of 36%, so we detected about a third of all crime. We need to improve. We improved on 2010, we need to improve uh, more so in 2012 but we need to address the types of crime that affect our communities. And that's around uh, burglaries, street robberies, theft from vehicles. And we know a lot of what we call acquisitive crime is being committed uh, by young people within the territory. And again, it's about how you address those types of issues. Not just about detecting the crime and bringing offenders to justice, but it's about how we engage with young people and how we prevent them from committing those types of crime. And that's back into our partnership approach. It can't be done just by the police, it has to be with our communities and it has to be with government. Head of the Crime Division, Superintendent Alwyn James revealed that the camera cost just over $5,000 and he made an appeal for the other community groups to take an active step in fighting crime in the territory as the Rotown Anti-Crime Group continues to do each week. This is Walter Barrett for JTV News.